Okay, I've been testing some stuff and I want to show you something. So over here, I have the um, character that I've been working on these past few days. If you follow my channel, follow me on Twitter, uh, you know that I've been building my own character. So I used to be a character artist. I decided to take that again. And we have, uh, this is the final body for her. It's just a practice character, not much to it. Uh, and I decided to rig her just to see how she would look with the metahuman rig. She looks gorgeous. But there's one thing that I want to show you when she goes like that. You can see that there is a little bit of distortion over here. This mesh right here is a mesh that I have done with the plugin. I just rig it with a plugin called Metapipe that I used in Maya. I've used this several times and you can see the over here in the elbow. If we get a little bit closer, you can see there's a little bit of distortion there. But if we do it here, there is no distortion it is pretty much perfect. And if I turn the hand around just to the same position that she has like that, and you can still see that this um, right here, if I take off the joints just so you can see the whole thing, there is a distortion here that is not present here. So that is why I am going to keep using this app, uh, this plugin. Sorry, it's called MetaPipe 3. And yes, that is what we're going to discuss in this video today. But I just wanted to show you the difference between both of them. Now, that being said, if you use MetaHuman Creator and you zoom out and you never get this close, then you're not going to notice that little distortion. If there's a lot of motion going on because pretty much everything else on her works well. The only problem is if I stylized her features more or if I do uh, another like a male character, which is like big, broad shoulders and all that kind of like Reinhardt or Doomfist, then I would get significant distortion. So that's why uh, most likely I'm going to be sticking with the workflow uh, here in Maya um, until they update um, the MetaHuman Creator in 5.6. And now let's just take a look at how this works. Uh, we're here in a fresh Maya scene and all I have to do is click the MetaPipe icon. Um, this is after I've installed the plugin. The plugin installation is a little bit complex. If you like this workflow, uh, then let me know in the comments down below. So I'll make an in-depth video of this right now is just for showing you real how quick it is to get a custom character working here in Maya with this plugin. So we'll click on origins and this gives me a base mid human that I can use to customize. Now, this is one of the things that you need to set up beforehand. There is a lot of tutorials about this the creator made on his uh, YouTube channel, but all I have to do is import my meshes. And all I did was bring the mesh that I wrapped. So I sculpted this body this is for my custom character. And all I did was wrap the metahuman geometry around it. I show how to do it in another video link in the description down below for that. And I also brought in the eyes because you need the eyes for this plugin to work. I know the mesh looks a little bit faceted because it's not being smooth. You're, you don't need that for this to work. So all you need is to grab both meshes and hit join transform. And uh, it's going to go through the process in my computer. It takes about a little less than uh, 35 seconds. So but I'll be right back. Right here it is. As you can see, this is it turned the head that it previously had, which it was a male head. It turned it into the head of the character that I want to use right now. So at the moment, none of this works. I need to save the DNA because this process goes through the whole metahuman DNA. That's one of the reasons why it's done in Maya and not somewhere else. OK, it's finished saving the DNA. Those are the most um, time intensive processes and it doesn't take more than 30 seconds. So it's pretty cool. Now I can show you how these things work here. You can see her mouth works uh, well, her eyes, everything in the face works um, pretty good. You can see like all that. After that, all I have to do is click on build body for the rest of the body to come in. If you also want the head, you can just run through this process and then just substitute the head for whatever other body rig that you had in, in case you just insert in the metahuman head into a different type of body. In this case, I just decided to customize the whole body and I will be building the clothes on top of that because this is just a, a practice character. This isn't one of the final characters that I want to make. So I'm just going to click on build body, 
All right, as you can see, I got her body and uh, let me show you go to show joints uh, here so you can see that the rig for the body also works well. And you can see the mix in between the head and the body, just like it is in Unreal Engine, even though these are pretty much two separated pieces. And you can see everything around here works fantastic. This is why I love this uh, add on or plugin because everything just works so well and it's so easy after this. I just need to bring it into Unreal and that's it. So there are other things that you can do with this plugin. Again, I'm, I'll go more in depth. Uh, just let me know in the comment section down below if you're interested in that. I just want to show you real quick what I'm using um, for my custom characters, but I don't know if uh, there are people that want to take a look at that on this channel, but you can see how everything works and how easy it was to just bring in a custom mesh with the whole thing. And you don't have the issue that we had uh, in the beginning with the one made in MetaHuman Creator. All right, everybody, uh, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And remember to hit that like. Nowadays, it's more important than ever. Subscribe if you haven't, because there's more dissected uh, video games coming in. I have uh, several AAA games on the queue that will be on the channel very soon. So if you want to uh, subscribe for that, I'll see you in the next one.